Nowadays, it seems that electrolytes are in basically every supplement and sports drink. From Gatorade to vitamin water, they all advertise their electrolyte content. But what even are electrolytes and why do you need them? That's what I will explain in this video. We will go over an explanation of what electrolytes are, talk about their role in their body. I will also explain how to optimize your electrolyte intake through diet and supplementation. And we will talk about why most electrolyte advice and supplements are completely useless. Let's get started. Okay, so to begin, what are electrolytes? What you have to understand is that our body runs on nutrients and we categorize these nutrients into macronutrients, so protein, carbs, and fats, and micronutrients, so vitamins and minerals. Now within micronutrients, there is another subcategory, which is electrolytes. Electrolytes are basically minerals that can carry an electrical charge. They do this because when they're dissolved in water, they break up into ions. And ions are atoms with an electrical charge. I will explain why this electrical charge is critical in a minute. First, let me name the seven most important electrolytes in our body. They are calcium, magnesium, sodium, potassium, chloride, phosphate, and bicarbonate. Now together, they have certain roles in our body to support our health. The number one role of electrolytes is to support energy production. For example, ATP, so adenosine triphosphate, which is the primary energy currency in our body, is reliant on magnesium. Without magnesium, ATP cannot be used by the body. Also, sodium and potassium, for example, set up electrical charges in the cell through the sodium-potassium pump, which pumps potassium inside the cell and sodium out of the cell. This sets up an electrical charge that can be used by nerve cells, for example. We also need electrolytes for muscle function. For instance, calcium helps contract muscles, while magnesium helps relax muscles. And lastly, many electrolytes function as mineral cofactors for certain enzymes. The most prominent is magnesium, which is involved not only in ATP production, but also in digestion, blood sugar control, or calming down the nervous system. So as you can see, electrolytes are important for health and fitness because they influence pretty much everything that goes on in our body. This also means that they're way more important than macronutrients. This is very important to understand because nowadays online, everyone focuses on macronutrient splits and very few people actually want to optimize their micronutrients, even though they're way more important. We know this because you can live on all kinds of different macronutrient splits as long as you fulfill your minimum needs for protein, fat, and carbs. Technically, carbs don't have a minimum intake, but you get the point. It's not that easy with electrolytes, unfortunately. Their levels have to be tightly regulated by the body. And if an electrolyte imbalance occurs, that can have very detrimental consequences. For example, not enough or too much potassium can both kill you. Now, many practitioners and nutritionists will actually tell you that you don't need to worry about electrolyte intake because the average diet supplies plenty. This is not true, especially not for athletes. To highlight this, here are some common ways you lose electrolytes every day. For example, acute stress depletes calcium and magnesium, which are calming minerals that the body throws out when it's under stress. On the other hand, long-term stress depletes sodium and potassium because their levels are tightly regulated by the adrenal glands, which can become weaker over time. And just sweating will make you lose sodium and chloride primarily, but also calcium and magnesium secondarily. So after a workout, make sure to not just eat protein, but also to refill your electrolytes. This then takes me to the last part of the video. How do you actually optimize your electrolyte intake? How do you diet and supplement correctly? The first thing I need to say is that most advice on electrolytes online is terrible. You either get told that the average diet supplies enough electrolytes that you don't need to worry about them, or someone tells you that their electrolyte drink or multivitamin supplement contains all the nutrients that you need. Both approaches will backfire in 99% of the cases, and I see people with drastic electrolyte deficiencies or imbalances every day. 
What you want to do instead of supplementing blindly is to first figure out your individual electrolyte and nutrient status and then work with a specialist on fixing your deficiencies and imbalances. I explain how to test your nutrient status correctly in a different video, so I'm not going to explain it here. Just know that normal blood tests are not enough and they're often misleading because they come back fine in 95% of the cases. When it comes to working with a specialist, you want to find someone who's experienced. I have compiled a list of the best practitioners in the world, at least in my opinion, that is part of the program. The reason you want to work with someone who knows what they're doing is that it's not only important that you fix your nutrient deficiencies, but also that you work on fixing your electrolyte imbalances. This is something many people are not looking for. Like I said before, imbalances can be just as detrimental as nutrition deficiencies. For example, sodium and potassium need to be kept in balance. Calcium and magnesium need to be kept in balance. This is something that not only will improve your overall health and well-being, but also your athletic performance. Very common symptoms like tense muscles or muscle twitching come down to electrolyte imbalances. And it is something we can fix naturally through our diet and supplements. Okay, to wrap up this video, here are the most important points that we talked about. First, understand that electrolytes are certain minerals that, when dissolved in water, carry an electrical charge. This electrical charge helps not only with energy production, but also with many other bodily processes. To optimize our energy production and overall well-being, we not only want to look at individual nutrient deficiencies, but also on the overall balance of electrolytes. For this, always work with an experienced practitioner.